Hi, good evening. This is Lisbeth Shaw Tapuan. I'm a medical doctor in the Philippines and uh, I'm continuing this mission I have about uh, enlightening some people in, in a way of um, my testimonies on, in my life my insight and some knowledge that I have so basically what I'm imparting is my experience because um, it's a lot of because of this pandemic a lot of people have um, been depressed, um, even questioning God, uh, and even uh, losing hope that uh, they have to curtail their life. And that saddens me, hearing those, and also um, some have really gone uh, crazy, you know. When we are faced with uh, crisis, with uh, challenges in life, we crumble to a point we even blame God. And Today, actually, when I was uh, hearing Mass online with Father Jerry Orbos uh, from the Philippines, uh, and I don't know, it just tears me. Um, of course, it's Father's Day, and uh, I must be uh, sentimental with regards to today. Um, I miss my daddy, <laughs> and also my husband. Though I thank God that uh, he's still with us. But he's incapacitated um, and he's in the nursing home. And I think it is because of my strong faith that I was able to withstand the storm of our lives. Even to a point where I I was labeled crazy by my by some colleagues, you know. But the thing is, uh, I have to live my life according to the to what the spirit is prompting me to, and it's always a. Uh, and it's a it's a daily it's a daily um, commitment to always ask the Lord and the Holy Spirit on the right choices because for me he is the light of my life Without my faith and without my belief and without my hope in Him, I don't know what I could have done or might have gone crazy, <laughs> you know. But I would like to inspire people not to give up, to depend on the Holy Spirit and that's what I did. I think that's 
that's uh, th that is the one that helped us that uh, in spite of your challenges you also move on and you don't if you know that uh, you have a, a great God you have a, a good God who knows you in and out the past and the future then why do you worry why should I worry you know of course there's some every day there's always challenges but I always ask you know even though I'm moving around or driving or doing something and I always talk to the Holy Spirit to Jesus especially if I have some big issues you know I just put my my problem on the table <laughs> you know and uh, and I don't like to sulk or you know although probably inside me I have I have some um, what do you call um, challenges or issues I try to to be happy for all and be happy and be thankful for all the blessings that I have it's countless it's and it's priceless and uh, that's why the, uh, the 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 Bible verse that I opened up today is an Ephesians yesterday it was Ephesians 4 and now it's Ephesians 5 you know and uh, and I am learning as I do this too you know I although this verses that I open it's 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 prob it's for me the 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 spirit the Holy Spirit is uh, uh, enlightening me and if 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 the way if this is enlightening me so it it could it should do it the Holy Spirit to enlighten you too because they're all powerful and they know us um, so basically this Ephesians 5 is uh, life in the spirit <laughs> you know uh, my daughters are in the kitchen and I could still hear them <laughs> but uh, and there's so much there's so much blessings small and big that I'm thankful for and I don't want to compare myself with others they may have um, you know su success they have the money they have the but God supplies my needs and my my family's needs and so there are there are things that where we have a lot of blessings and just being alive and being well and being able to talk to 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 you in this vast um, uh, opportunity to impart to to also like evangelize let me just uh, I have to text my children
so anyway let me so if Jesus is the light of my life and I try hard and hard and cheerfully to please God, to please Jesus, then in so doing, in so doing, you become, you are a light in the Lord. You become light to other people. And it's one way of, uh, of two ways actually, of um, following the commandment. One is, you know, because you're you you're cautious on on uh, the way you you live, the way I live my life. So in so doing, I. Uh, I honor him and in so doing I express my love to my neighbors my children my siblings my relatives my friends so let me So let us uh, let me just read the the my readings today. So in Ephesians um, five, verse six to twenty, that's the the Bible verse that I opened my Bible today. So as I said, I was telling. I open my Bible every day to give or to get an instruction or enlightenment from the Spirit, from Jesus, especially on the issues that I have. So basically this is for me and I'm just I'm just imparting to you my experience my daily thing I call it right now I'm I calling this session and I have uh, as a date with the Holy Spirit. Um, that's how I feel right now. That's why if you love, I love Jesus, I love so, I have to do it every day, you know. I, I open my Bible in the morning and then and sometimes I just open and make sure, you know, if, especially if I, I don't, I have to go to the to the computer so I could could read it because uh, the the print on my Bible is a bit smaller for me now. So I study it in my iPad or in my desk computer or on my laptop, and then I ponder on what I have read and talk to the Holy Spirit. As I said, sometimes it, uh, a lot of times there are some verses that I, that really get my attention and I ponder on them and 
basically talk to the Holy Spirit what what's the message for me what do I need to do or you know and then I talk in my mind um, about my challenges and my my desires my uh, my wishes and so let's see this Ephesians 5 verse 6 to 9 let no one deceive you with empty arguments for because of these things the wrath of God is coming upon the disobedient so do not be associated with them For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for light produces every kind of goodness and righteousness and truth. It's this, just with these uh, uh, four verses is very enlightening. That you don't argue, you know, there are some people who likes to argue about the Bible, that, you know, their religion is the right one. And I, there was a point where, there was one time where um, a patient of mine was uh, convincing me about, uh, you know, changing religion but I told her if from Catholic you become born again or something else I said if that makes you a good person you you are comfortable living um, with that um, religion as long as we're all Christians you know, even I said, I told her that even even Paul and Peter, some they had some um, argument or they're not seeing eye to eye and they move in, in different direction. But their teachings are with the same words of Jesus. And, and that's how it is. We, we are all different. God allowed it to happen because um, He knows uh, that we are all thinking, thinking, we have our own free choices. So just imagine even um, the Israelites when they... Uh, Move from they were rescued from Egypt they were they they had so much miracles God has showed them a lot of uh, of uh, blessings and still you know they uh, they are arguing they are complaining and 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 God knows this human nature that's why he has the Bible he has the for us we have the Holy Spirit we have we have is giving us so much stuff a way to lead to the right path although it comes with responsibility Now let me so we have to be careful with the people we associate with too you know if uh, 
they're argumentative. Just for me, I respect their opinion. Then they should just respect. They have to respect mine. And of course, I will. Uh, if I'm challenged, you know, I will. I, I will. I will give my stance, but I don't have to convince them. If you have, uh, you're, you're confident on, on your belief, on your, uh, on your faith to Jesus, then there's no more arguments. What? Because in the end, uh, in the end, the question that will be asked of us is did you love God above all things did you try to please him did you did you obey his uh, um, teachings and the next thing is did you love your neighbor as yourself so you have to love yourself then you love your neighbor because uh, there has to have an inner peace with you, within you, to be able to really love other people. So let's see. She says, um, "So we are. Cons if you're a Christian believer, you're considered." children of light children of God so you would like to we would like to please our parents you know like when especially if you want something <laughs> you better butter off our father and uh, anyway today is Father's Day uh, Happy Father's Day, God the Father, because you're the perfect Father. So anyway, let me continue this. Um, try to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the fruitless works of darkness, rather expose them. For it is shameful even to mention the things done by them in secret. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible. For everything that becomes visible is light. Therefore it says, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. So, Christ is the light of the world and if you f and if we try to please him in every way in every moment of our lives then we become a light to other people so it says watch carefully then how you live not as foolish persons, but as wise, making the most of the opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not continue in ignorance, but try to understand what is the will of the Father. So, if you do not know how to discern the will of God, then for me, a lot of times I know that the Holy Spirit communicates with me through the Bible and also through the days. So do not get drunk on wine in which lies debauchery, debauchery, 
but be filled with the Spirit. Because the gift of the Holy Spirit is free. We have to believe and ask for them. And He will give you what you need. Addressing another, one, one another in psalm and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and playing to the Lord in your hearts, giving thanks always and for everything in the name of the, our Lord Jesus Christ and to God the Father. So as I said, uh, singing spiritual songs or even probably like the song of uh, one of my favorite songs, My Love Will See You Through, is sung by a, a um, popular singer in the Philippines uh, but when he sings it with the, the lyrics I imagine it is the Lord singing it to me so I sing it you know there's a song um, where the person is singing that you know strumming strumming my pains with his fingers singing the song you know and uh, it's the same way you know you, you feel that the song is is for you and it's Jesus and and I use my imagination that he's standing in front of me telling me and sing and tell me the song, the lyrics. Let me go, you know, just highlight some stuff, some verses. Said, so live life with with uh, what is all this I don't hear it live life with a due sense of responsibility not as men who do not know the meaning and purpose of life but as those who do Make the best use of your time, despite all the difficulties of these days. So, if Jesus is the light of your life, then you become the light in the Lord. Stealing the soil of your heart. I think that this one pertains to the verse, to the first verse. That let no one deceive you with empty arguments. Mm -hmm. And there is one that I want to. Jesus as our light and it comes with responsibility and how do you do that first of all you've got to believe to you've got to obey 
Ask the Holy Spirit to guide you. Because God is the light. And if you follow Jesus' teaching, then you become the light in the Lord. So let me get into something. Right place at the right time. God communicates with us. We listen and are obedient. Stay near to Jesus. Ask questions. God prepares hearts and orchestrates events. The good news is always Jesus. Let them desire and choose Jesus for themselves. It's, a, it's an everyday challenge because if you don't have challenges in life, um, life will be boring. But it's on how you cope with your challenges that matters. So how do you do that? Ask the Holy Spirit. You have the Jesus in your in your life, and he always asks the question: What will Jesus do if he's here or if he's beside you? And that is very true. We're not alone. The Holy Spirit is with us to guide us. That's why I like that song. You better watch out. You better not cry. Jesus Christ is coming very soon. So, I hope I have enlightened some people and I hope um, you'll be will come closer to Jesus that's the that's my mission because I don't know how the situation in other people's life I do not know that but only the Holy Spirit knows so let them lead you as you see leading me I'm not perfect I, I have lots of uh, challenges and that problem needs transforming but it's fine every day as long as we wake up we thank God for our life Okay, let me do my uh, prayer. I'll start with the Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your holy gifts. Let our weakness be penetrated with thy strength this very day that we may fulfill all our duties consciously, that we may do what is right and just. Let our charity be such as to offend no one, hurt no one's feelings so generous as to pardon sincerely any wrong done to us. Assist us, the Holy Spirit, in all the trials of life. Enlighten us in our ignorance, advise us in our doubts, strengthen us in our weakness, help us in all need and embarrassment, protect us in temptations, graciously hear us, the Holy Spirit, and pour the light into our hearts, our soul, our mind. Assist us to live a holy life, to grow in goodness and grace. Amen. In your mighty name, Lord Jesus Christ, I bind all demonic forces, all forces of bad things, all negativity, all obstacles, mountains, illness, sickness, infection, curse, strife, family division, darkness, confusion, anger, hatred, anxiety, unforgiveness. that have come against us human beings especially to my family Rod, Lil, Road and me my friends, relatives, my brothers, sisters, my mother and all those who have uh, 
died before us and was in all souls in purgatory and even my enemies cover us with your precious blood that was shed for us on the cross Mary our mother we seek your protection and intercession with the sacred heart of Jesus for us and our families surround us with your mantle of love the scourged enemy Saint Michael our guardian angel come defend us and we firm against the evil ones that roam the earth. In your mighty name, Lord Jesus Christ, I bind and command all powers of evil to depart right now away from us, our homes and our land. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for your faithful compassion. God, amen. Father, we believe in your Son, the Lord Jesus. We believe in your amazing love for us. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we recognize that we have a covenant with you. This new covenant was ratified by the shed blood of Jesus on the cross at Calvary. Right now, we acknowledge that Jesus bore our sins, our sicknesses, diseases, sorrows, griefs, fears, torments, unforgiveness, strife, and lack for us. Everything on that cross. Yes, Lord. We believe that Jesus' body was broken for us. His precious blood was shed on our behalf. We praise and thank you for Jesus. Glory to your name. By Jesus' stripes, we are healed. In every cell, in every organ, in every function of our body. Thanks to Jesus, our youth is renewed. With long life, you will satisfy us, Father. Through Jesus' sacrifice, we have total and complete redemption. We are totally delivered from the devil in every single way. We are new creations in Christ. Our freedom has been bought and paid for. Yes, we are forgiven. We are redeemed. We are free. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we give you thanks. The Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you this do in remembrance of me we will eat now thank you father after the same manner also he took the cup which he had supped saying this cup is the new testament in my blood this do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me for as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup ye do show the lord's death till he come we take the cup in our hand and hold it up to you right now Father, this represents the blood of the new covenant in which all our sins, past, present, and future, are all remitted. They are all forgiven through the blood of Jesus. Praise your holy name. Through his blood, we and our family are redeemed from every curse, every ancestral curse, from every single curse of the law. Thank you. We will drink now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're a good, good God. You gave up your son to remove the barrier standing between you and us. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you that above all else, you desire that we prosper and be in health even as our soul prospers. We declare a new dimension of health, a new level of faith, a new realm of energy and divine strength. We declare that we are living, walking testimonies to all those around us who are defeated in this world. We have victory and new life in Jesus. Oh, that the world would come to know you. Protect, preserve, bless, and reach every single person in our family and our friends. In the wonderful and precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. So, um, I'm going to go now. And good evening and thank you for listening. And I hope I have... Um, enlighten some of you god bless us and let's continue to pray for each other and if you have some issues in life pray the power of of authority you cast out the demon in your life in your relationship in your in your family cast them out so that uh, they cannot fool you. 
focus on Jesus and uh, try to please him always ask yourself is Jesus happy with what I'm doing with what I'm thinking because we have to control our mindset so anyway thank you Lord thank you very much and I'm going now God bless